How are you grade 9? I hope you are safe and fine at home. Today we are going to complete our lesson uh, in chapter 9, lesson 9.7, solving quadratic equations by using a uh, square root and we are going to make revision for the lesson and solve the exercises. Let's start together. We said that to solve the quadratic equation uh, if I have a quadratic equation, my solution must be plus or minus, positive or negative, square root of the number. So don't forget that I have two values. I have two values. If I have x power 2 equal 15, so the x equals plus or minus square root of 15. And we said that uh, I have a perfect square numbers, if you remember, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, 100, 121, and 144. All of these numbers are perfect square numbers, okay? Perfect square numbers. That I can get its uh, square root directly. If I told you what is the square root of 25, you're going to tell me 5. What's the square root of 64? It will be 8. Very good. And we said that if I have x power of 2, what, what can I do? I'm going to get the square root. But don't forget plus or minus. So I have two values, one with positive and the other with negative. And if I have a problem like this, x power 2 equal negative 4. So when I get the square root of a negative, there is no square root of a negative number in the real numbers. So there is no solution, no real solution, no real solution. Uh, and here, if I have a complicated uh, uh, equation like this, what I'm going to do, I'm going to finish the plus and the minus first. I'm going to finish it, take it to the other side, okay? Then after I take the plus and minus to the other side, if I have a number beside the x power 2, that means times. So this, this number will go to the other side with divide. Then if I want to get the x, I'm going to get plus or minus the square root of the uh, fraction here. Okay, so I have two values, positive and negative. Okay, and of course we explain all of this in the uh, last video if you want to revise the last video in the YouTube channel. And here, if I have um, a number which is not perfect, not perfect square, I will have irrational number. So I'm going to approximate it to the nearest hundredth, okay? I'm going to approximate it to the nearest hundredth. And don't forget that I have also two values, positive and negative, okay? Okay. Let's see, this is our practice. Open your practice book and uh, let's solve together here x power 2 equals 81 so x equals what plus or minus square root of 81 so huh 81 is one of the perfect square numbers do you remember huh 81 is what 81 square root of 81 is 9 if you remember it or or if you study it you will know it if you don't know you can use your calculator okay Let's see the calculator here. This is the square root, the button of the square root. Okay, then 81. So it will be what? 9. But don't forget that I'm going to write plus or minus 9. Okay, very good. Let's complete here. X power 2 equal 100. And also 100 is what? 100 is? 100 is perfect square number. 100 is perfect square number. What is the square root? Hmm. What is square root of 100? It's 10. Okay, very good. And also I can get it from hmm, my calculator. I'm going to write uh, square root of 100. So it will give me 10, but don't forget to write the plus or minus. Okay, very good. Let's see here. So the solution here, huh? what is the solution here? It's positive 9 and negative 9. Very good. And here, hmm, positive 10 and negative 10. Very good. Here, x power 2 is equal to 125. Huh? 225, you're going to tell me, miss, it's uh, so, uh, so uh, difficult one. Use your calculator, it's okay. Square root of 225, it will be 15. 
okay so it's square root of 15 so x is equals what x is uh, sorry uh, it's uh, 200 here we must write here 225 first 200 square root of 225 and what is the square root of 225 don't forget the plus or minus plus or minus 15 very good and here hmm a plus or minus square root of what 441 441 huh? and here do you can you say can you say it huh? x equals huh? plus or minus square root of negative 400 okay okay let's complete this first we're going to use our calculator here square root of 441 equals you give me 21 so it's 21 don't forget the plus and minus okay and here look here square root of a negative number do I have any real solution for this no so I'm going to write no solution no solution no real solution okay no real solution let's write real okay no real solution okay why because I have square root of a negative square root of a negative so I don't have a real solution very good let's complete here huh? what am I going to do in this one first I'm going to get rid of the 3 I'm, get, I'm, I'm going to get it out huh? how 3 x power 2 it means 3 times times so the 3 will go to the other side with huh? with what with divide very good so x power 2 equals what 108 over 3 equals return back to your calculator huh? 100 make it like this 108 108 over 3 so it will give you 36 36 okay 36 and of course 36 is what hmm, is perfect square number so x equals hmm, x equals huh? don't forget the plus or minus very good plus or minus square root 36 what is the square root of 36 it's 6 so plus or minus 6 okay easy one so you can solve number 7 as a homework here hmm, I have plus plus 7 plus 7 will go to the other side with hmm, minus very good so x power 2 equals 71 minus 7 okay <clears throat> 71 minus 7 is 60 what 64 uh, can you see the 64 is what perfect square number perfect square number so x equal uh, plus or minus the square root of 64 what is the square root of 64 if you if you study hmm. square root of 64 is 8 or you can do it with calculator of course but it's simple it's from the perfect square root so simple okay <coughs> very good uh, <coughs> okay let's complete here this one hmm. what I'm going to do I have a times and a minus I'm going to start with minus first okay so the minus will go to the other side with huh? plus very good so 49 x power 2 equals what hmm, 64 and 49 x power 2 that means times this will go to the other side with divide so x power 2 equals 64 over 49 Okay, 
very nice so what about the value of the x hmm? the x will be huh, positive or negative the square root of this huh? square root of 64 is what huh? we get it here 8 very good over what is the square root of 49 49 also is a perfect square number huh? square root of 49 is what 7 very good excellent of course you can solve it I'm going to take negative 2 to the other side with divide then get the square root you can complete it as a whole okay here number 11 hmm. let's solve it together hmm. 9 x power 2 huh? plus 100 we'll go to the other side with minus equals negative 100 so x power 2 equals huh the 9 will go to the other side with divide negative 100 over 9 so I'm going to get the square root can I have a square root for negative number hmm no so here no solution no real solution don't forget no real solution okay very good huh? you can solve this minus 121 will go to the other side with positive then 81 I'm going to make it divide okay then I get the square root of 121 over 81 and here hmm, 100 will go to the other side with divide remember and then I'm going to get the square root of 25 over 100 and don't forget the plus and minus so it will be plus or minus huh? 5 over 100 okay and here also 100 would go to the other side with divide then I'm going to get plus or minus square root of 121 over 100 the square root of 121 is what hmm? remember 11 so it's 11 over 10 very good nice so all of this is perfect square numbers let's see this one because it's not perfect we're going to complete it here let's solve together mm -hmm. x power 2 will be what 56 over 8 yeah let's get the, the square root so x equals plus or minus square root huh? 56 56 here let's make it 56 over uh, sorry 56 over 8 it will be 7 so it's with square root of what 7 square root of 7 so what is the square root of 7 returning back to your calculator here I'm going to square root seven and write equal of course he will give me this to make it decimal you are going to uh, press this button s to d okay so we give you the irrational number i'm going to uh, round it to the nearest hundredth nearest hundredth so go to the hundredth place what's beside the hundredth place is five so the five will give the four one so it will be 2.65 okay so it will be approximately equal returning back here we're going to write approximately equal approximately equal okay hmm. approximately equal what hmm. 2.65 2.65 okay easy one very nice yeah let's complete this hmm how to solve this one I'm going to take the 5 to the other side with minus very good so negative x power 2 equal 20 minus 5 very good so negative x power 2 equal 15 
I don't want this negative, so I'm going to divide with negative 1 to the e each of the two sides over negative 1 here and here over negative 1. So x power 2 equals negative 15. Huh? Can I get the square root for a negative? No, I can't get the square root for a negative for real numbers. So here, no real solution. This what? No real solution. Okay? And of course, you can solve number 17, as we said here, uh, as homework. Uh, thank you, grade 9, for listening. See you next time.